Thank you, Madam President. I stand here today in support of my, res my resolution commemorating April 24th as Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day. 20th century has seen some of the greatest atrocities known in the history of mankind. Attempts to wipe out and fully exterminate entire populations of peoples. And even a generation before the terrible atrocities that happened during the Holocaust in Nazi Germany, the Ottoman Empire engaged in a systematic pogrom to exterminate the Armenians, the Greeks, the Pontians, the Assyrians, and other Christian minorities living in the Ottoman Empire, living in modern-day Turkey. April 24th, 1915, ultra-nationalist Turkish factions in the Ottoman Empire, known as the Young Turks, began their eight-year-long campaign to systematically wipe out the minority communities living there. Over the course of eight years, 1.5 million Armenians were exterminated because of the Turkish Ottoman genocide pogrom. 800,000 Greeks exterminated by the Turkish Ottoman genocidal pogrom. Hundreds of thousands of Assyrians, Pontics, and other Christian minorities were terminated, killed, slaughtered, displaced. They were forced into death marches and placed in concentration camps. Churches were destroyed. Whole communities were set on fire. In 1923, the Ottoman Empire set fire to the entire Greek city of Smyrna in Asia Minor in an attempt to kill everyone living there. This is an awful, awful legacy that we have an obligation not just to never forget, but to proactively remember. Henry Morgenthau, who was the US ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, in 1915 observed that the actions by the Ottoman Turks constituted a carefully planned scheme to thoroughly extinguish the Armenian race, and that a campaign of race extermination is in progress. Three years later, Ambassador Morgenthau issued a, a call to the world, pleading with them to stand up for the truth. He said, will the outrageous terrorizing, the cruel torturing, the driving of women into harems, the debauchery of innocent girls, the sale of many of them at 80 cents each, the murdering of hundreds of thousands and the deportation to and starvation in the deserts of other hundreds of thousands, the destructions of hundreds of villages and cities, will the willful execution of this whole devilish scheme to annihilate the Armenian, Greek, and Syrian Christians of Turkey, will this all go unpunished? Sadly, Madam President, at that time, it did go unpunished. But we're here today, more than a century later, to be able to say that we will never forget what happened to those communities, and that we'll do everything in our power to put their memory into our consciousness. I'm particularly proud that today we are joined in our chamber by the Ambassador of the Republic of Armenia to the United Nations, the Honorable Ambassador Maher Magarian, and we thank him and his wife for being here with us today. We are also joined by members of the Armenian community here in New York, including representatives from the Armenian National Committee, the Armenian Assembly of America, the Armenian Bar Association, Armenian Youth Federation, and St. Peter's Armenian Apostolic Church. We thank all of you for joining us here today as well. At a time of renewed hatred and bigotry against ethnic, racial, and religious minorities around the world, regardless of where they are or where they come from, let us remember the tragedies that occurred to the Armenian, Greek, Assyrian, and Pontic people just over a century ago, pay tribute to their lives, and commit ourselves to ensure that on our watch and forever beyond, these atrocities will never, ever happen again. Thank you, Madam President.